Hey, what's up, everybody? So today we're going to play some best of one ladder matches. I think we're in like the top 400, 500 or so. I've been playing this list quite a bit. I, I've i made several videos about this list um, with a few different versions, and I think this is kind of just where I'm at right now. Uh, before I was playing to Brotherhood's End, and the mana just felt horrible having double red, double white, and Invoke Despair. So I ended up just cutting those. You know, this is basically just black, white with a tiny splash of red for Archangel of Wrath and Fable the Mirror Breaker. I, you know, I made this deck mostly to combat blue white soldiers, pretty decent against mono red. Um, you know, fair matchups against the Grixie decks, pretty bad against mono blue, like mono blue tempo, blue white control, but. I think overall has been pretty solid. I think my win rate's around 60% on the ladder with this. So, yeah, this is kind of just where I've taken the list. And um, if you like the video, enjoyed the games, please subscribe, like the video. I'm a new channel, so I really appreciate any new subscribers. Um, love talking to people in the comments if you have any suggestions or anything like that. Anyway, let's get to the game. All right, well, this is a hand, I guess. I guess we can keep this. Pretty slow. If they're playing mono red, we could be in trouble for sure. Like they mulliganed. Mono wider soldiers. Okay. Or just, they might just be playing control. Let's get countered. Discard these two. I don't think we'll probably need these in a control matchup. Um, we'll play the untap land so we can flash an Emperor into their turn. Um, we'll just go ahead and do it. We can play around their counter spells. Possible he has his own Emperor. If we play Shieldred, we could just be walking into a Depopulate. Um, but if we don't pressure him enough, then... It's too slow to beat him. I don't really know if I want to just play right into the depopulate. Uh... Deep in the tank. Um, I'm, I'm debating between just cycling this so maybe we can find an untapped land and play Warden. I guess if we play Children now, he has the, the Populate. I draw an untapped land, then I can play this without him being able to counter it. All right, the Deluge and go find a Depopulate to absolutely destroy me. No depopulate? What? I'm blazed. Um, okay. I still think he probably has his own Emperor. Almost makes me not want to attack with children. Um, but then it's like, what do we want them to exile? I don't think we can wait. I mean, I don't think we can play around it. I think we just have to 
fish and prey here. Make him decide between these two. Lily's kind of a good draw. Oh wow, he doesn't have any. Lily's gonna be huge here now. It's hard for this deck to get rid of the Planeswalkers. That's fine. Um, I don't really like discarding this. And you think you can win? Feels bad. I'm gonna discard a uh, Emperor here. Don't overthink things. I just want to make this card's really good. At least make him have. He's. It'll make him have to have a farewell to, to deal with this. Or I guess he has another exile card. Ooh, invoke despair is super juicy here. Um, I think we just attack and see what he does. Elementar spots. If he has Emperor here, then Spare's gonna blow him out. Okay. I've learned much during my travels. Let me show you're done. I guess that was kind of a mistake. Like I should uh I should have kept my mana open. But I guess I was like so I could decide between either of these, but I was pretty sure I was just playing despair here anyway. Card farewell. You won't be outsmarting me. Let your play will be at six fight. next turn. Um, okay, so he probably just wants to play another memory deluge. Four, five, six, seven. He has seven. Um I think we just attack here with both. Strike fast and strike hard. Make him discard one of his cards. All right, well, that's GG's then, because now we can just invoke the spare. I guess he just did, really did want to get rid of those cards. Good game. All right, so this hand looks good. Wish we had an untapped land here. All right, that's one of our favorable matchups for sure. We can, uh, not hitting an untapped land here is really bad though. Don't play Thalia. All right, perfect draw. He is gonna flash in his his two one ones. Um, then if you, I guess we'll be uh, makes Liliana so awkward. But I guess um, once we depopulate Lily, we well, it should be pretty good. Hopefully he plays a creature. Okay. I say it'd be kind of unfortunate if he has another reinforcement. Um. 
we could play Lillian plus. That puts pressure on him to either have the the guy that pumps his creatures to kill Lily, or he has to activate Foundry. I think I'd rather him just play more of his cards so we can depopulate. I guess if he only play, I, I'd prefer him to play like two spells here. Um, if he doesn't, I would consider just playing go for the throat. Try to lead him into the depopulate a little better. If Thalia, Thalia could ruin that plan a little bit, but. All right, so if he would have played Lily and Plus, like he would have just been able to kill it with this. I guess now the question is, do we want to go ahead and kill this? Possibly he just has another reinforcement. Um, so if we do nothing and take it, and then we play to populate, then it's kind of annoying. I think I would rather kill it now and see what else he has going on in his hand before we play our to populate. Okay, well that worked out. We're just gonna pass here. Ooh, if he if he activates his foundry, we can kill it. Alright, so that's going to be some damage, though. Eight damage if we don't kill that. But I think that's fine. He does get to draw a card from the populate, so maybe it would have been better. I don't know. I like... I, we, we would take two damage from that, too, which is would be unfortunate, but... I guess now we can Lily and play Grass. Do you have the reinforcements in hand? We'll just play Fable here, get a blocker. Can't kill the foundry now. It's gonna put us at three though. Um, do we want to discard any of these cards? We could keep this, so if we draw a double white spell, we don't have to take the damage. I kind of want to discard it though. Ooh, that's a that's a great draw. I think we just try to find an, another land here so we can play a bigger Archangel of Wrath. There it is. Just gonna play this. I don't want to take any more damage from these lands. We should be sitting pretty good now. That one's a little annoying. I do gotta play the rap though. I can't stay at two. We're just gonna kill him. Next turn, we can start making copies of this, which is pretty huge. Another foundry. Oh, two Cathars. Wow. All 
All right, <laughs> that's bad for him. This is my home, and I don't appreciate it when people touch. Doesn't matter. It doesn't matter which one you sacrifice, man. I promise. Um. So I could like wait on this cut down to see if he attacks with this foundry, kill it, and then I can get, I can block his foundry without having to chump block. I guess if he plays this first, can he do all that? Yeah, he can. I would probably want to kill this in response. Um, so he doesn't get the token. All right, well, this should end poorly for him. Wait, he's not a soldier. Oh, fuck, he is a soldier. Oh, wait, he doesn't have the pump land. Never mind. For some reason, I thought he had the, uh, the pump land. That's the other land. All right, bud. That feels bad. Um, I'm just gonna kill this. Just wanna be able to go ham. Oh man, I don't wanna discard either of these cards. I don't have to actually. I can make a token, I'll have enough mana for that. Damn. Alright, this hand is, I think, just too slow. They're playing mono red. Um, there's no way this hand can win against mono red or soldiers, probably. And their name is Red 2141. And if we just had like one removal spell instead of farewell here, I think we would keep it. Um, yeah, so I'll mulligan this. Alright, this is slightly better, I guess. Get rid of despair. All right, well, duress does like nothing here. So I'm just gonna play this land so I can not take damage from my go for the throat. Dahlia's really annoying here. All right, so now we'll just see if there's anything duress can get, which probably not. Oh, wow. He has two lay down the arms. That's surprising. His deck, his hand is really weak against me though. Dahlia can really, really hurt me. Um. Well, hopefully we draw a land. And he only has two planes, so we can't kill this yet with his lay down the arms. Okay, great draw. Um, I think I would prefer to just see if he's probably gonna attack with Foundry again. It's either that or we just jam this. Um. He could draw. Control Brutal Cathar. Would I die? No, he couldn't activate. If he has another land. Would take four. Um, I, I kind of like playing this better right now. So I can start gaining some life back. I guess the mono white version just pl has plays laid on the arms.
All right, I think I want to kill this now. Because, I mean, he doesn't really have good attack, so it's like if I sit on Wandering Emperor, he's most likely not going to attack. I think it's probably to just kill him now. I don't want him to keep, like, making a creature bigger so we can't attack. Him having only two planes has kind of been huge. Um, what do I want to do here, though? Fable will put more pressure on him. I don't think, I still don't think he's going to attack. I guess he could. Be a pretty poor attack. I'm just going to play Fable. If we draw land, we can probably just discard it for another, another draw. And we can gain life too from the drawing cards. I'll still be surprised if he attacks here. Yeah. I think I'm gonna go ahead and discard this. Yeah. It's always another land on top, right? I mean, we, we still don't really have to do anything. Like, he's... All the pressure's on him to, to make a move. <laughs> Alright, well, we're definitely gonna kill that. Oh, wait, why did I... Oh, I can't play spells on your turn. That's right. And depopulate's really interesting here. Got a brick sometime and just start hitting lands. All right, there we go. So if he hits one more land, it does start to get a little awkward. I feel like we're gonna, if he hits another planes, we're definitely gonna be forced in this depopulate. I think we just pass here. I mean, it's not like we're gonna be attacking. I guess I was considering like, I'm probably in step his turn. I can make a token. Actually, those are gonna be a problem when he starts drawing cards. So I'm probably gonna have to depopulate here. Actually, this is a problem because now, uh, since I waited, he's gonna get a bunch of ton of one ones. I kind of need to draw a farewell here, actually. All right, well, that's actually kind of a huge attack because now I can kill both of them and he can't draw cards anymore. Well, that took off a bunch of pressure for me. Um, I kind of want to wrath this guy. I'm at a super nice life total, so I can just keep pressure on him. Almost one attack with my shieldred. Nah. I want the drain to keep happening, force him to draw the planes. Gonna go to five though. 
I'm at 31, so it's not like I'm worried about him like having some massive, sh massive attack. Now he has to kill me. Yeah, good games. Oh man, we'll mulligan that. It just does nothing. This is pretty awkward too. Um, I think we have to keep it though. Uh, do we keep the farewell? I mean, probably not. We drop another land, and this hand is completely fine. Probably for just playing mono white, like mid range. This is probably a pretty hard matchup for us. Like he has so much value in his cards. Now I now I wish I had that farewell. <laughs> Let's try to hit a land drop here. Nice. I mean our our best bet is to play Invoke Despair and you know, keep them off this wedding announcement plan. Well, that's annoying. But we'd love to find a farewell now. I'm going to go ahead and play Invoke Despair. Just can't let him get too far ahead. And I need to find another land. At least we're finding land drops. I'd love to draw like one of my bigger threats, another despair or the, the big five, five angel. I would love to draw a farewell, to be honest. Um, I'm probably gonna have to, the wrath here. I think I like that, then I can attack for four. He's gonna get to draw a ton of cards. So, I guess... You know, the game plan is probably the big, big aggressor here. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming he's playing farewell. Red dress. I, oh, okay. Next turn, I guess he's just gonna hard cast this and attack for four, maybe? Uh, I assume he wants to, like, get more of a board where he sets those up. Um, I guess I could draw a card and I could play Emperor. It's either that or I play Wrath. I, I, if he just plays this next turn, then I feel like I'd rather have this. So I think... My plan is to, I can draw a card from this, from the Bank Buster, and then I can play Wandering Emperor. Pretty juicy if he lets me kill one of these. I guess he gives a diligence, right? You this fight. I'm going to end 
Keep watch for intruders. All right, shoulders actually pretty good, I think. So if I play this and kill him. He's just going to activate in response. I won't be able to attack. I guess I could attack with my bank buster if he's willing to trade. I feel like I want to do with him though. While I still can. I think. Yeah, I don't want him to get like life link to everybody. That's interesting that he crewed now. I guess he's 5-5. Five five. I can't kill him anyway. I forget that they get plus one from this as well, so that makes it awkward. I guess I could um, attack and give him plus one with the Wandering Emperor. Yeah, I'll see if he's willing to trade, honestly. I think that's a fine trade. Actually, he won't trade. I'll have first strike. Remember your training. This does leave my emperor a little open, though, because um, he can activate both of his bank busters next turn if he wants. Book Despair would be a great draw here. Okay. It's a big guy with lifelink. Pretty much does force me to play to populate now. I mean, he's going to be gaining too much life with this. Oh wow, he lets me keep it, so that's interesting. And I can play both of these. Um, I guess I'm just debating like, if I want to let him attack and gain seven life, that's kind of huge. I really don't want to kill my own angel, though. Um, this is a hard turn, so... I'm like, I don't really want to play these two cards right now because I feel like I'm going to end up having to play my Depopulate. I guess I could protect my Emperor again if I attack, Depopulate, minus... Probably play Mirror Breaker. I can play Depopulate and Shieldred. I think that's probably the play here. Should just activate in response. I 
feel like if he doesn't have a response, like an answer to this, then this can just end the game now. Got four. And it sets up an, a draw for Invoke Despair as well. Mm. Which he would probably just, you know, he'll have a creature and he has an enchantment. So we could at least do two more with that. But this does put a lot of pressure on him to have something for it. I guess if he just jams this, then we don't draw anything, then we could be in a bit of trouble. All right, well, now we can give somebody lifelink, which kind of sucks. We're flying and kill my my emperor. I'm at, I would imagine that we'd probably want lifelink here, though. It's interesting he doesn't activate these first to get the counters. Like he should have played this crude and then played that. Or am I reading this? Creatures you can. Creatures can go plus one. Oh, it's oh they get plus one for each counter he has. I was I was thinking they get counters. Um. Okay. Yeah, he gives him the lifelink. I kind of want to save him. Yeah, I mean, I have to save him. Because if we draw fare Farewell, then we'd be in a really good spot. There it is. There's one. Okay. That's really not too helpful right now. See what we can draw. Have anything? We have a we have an archangel. It's not particularly good here though. Um, I guess we probably just play Fable. So we can kind of cycle some more cards. I guess I'm debating on doing this or not. I don't think so. I think this game is going to come down to if we draw a farewell or not. That's annoying. That's two cards he gets to draw. This is a good game, though. I feel like it could go either way at this point. Um, I think he's probably ahead. His creatures are just so big. I'm, I'm sure I'll probably end up killing this just to make his attack worse. Um, I'm assuming he's gonna make a, an attack here. Nothing I can do about that. Our swords will cross again. All right, your creatures are absolutely massive. 
I think I'm just gonna have, probably end up just discarding both of these cards. I'm unsure. Oh man, okay. I just don't know if this is that great. I'm scared to discard either one of these cards though. I mean, chances of drawing a farewell are pretty low. I might need this to survive another turn. And give him flying. Attack for 20. But if I don't find the farewell, then like I'm eventually just dead anyway. Right? Uh, bricks. Uh, all right, we'll go digging. All right, kind of in trouble here. This is going to be a huge attack from him. I guess it's possible I should have just played uh, a Fable instead of activating the, the, the Celestius. 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 Celestis. Celestis. I'm pretty much on farewell or bust after discarding that removal spell. But I mean, that removal spell only like let me tread water a little bit more. I imagine his attack is just give him flying attack with everything. That's surprising to me. All right, well, it gave me the opportunity to chomp, so that's cool, I guess. Try your two cards. It's like the other frightening things. He has five cards now in hand. So, I mean, I fare well, then I'm going to need him to, to not have too much after that. Probably just gonna play this, just uh, buy me some more time. Draw a card. Um, and I'm one mana short of having like a two spell turn to flip it back tonight or day. Still at 38, so I mean, I still have some time. It's possible I could have just played both Fables there instead of Warden. Actually, I think that was a mistake. I should have played just both Fables. So next turn, I could look at 
five, six cards with the uh, Celestis. True in response, we got a chomp. He's kind of just going ham. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, I don't think we can win this game. Adding a Planeswalker kind of... I mean, maybe, uh, you know, I go farewell until I can invoke Despair. Maybe we're not, like, completely out of it yet. It is going to go today, so we'll, we'll look at another card. Yeah, you figured out you give them flying now. It's so much better, right? All right, well, that's a lot of damage. Come on, deck. Oh. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Fine. Oh. Oh. I mean, maybe. Let's see. So now I can wondering if I killed this. Are we still dead? I think so. Or do we kill this? We'll have more chomps. Can't give anything. I guess you can give a flying with this. I mean, that's we'd have to kill this. What is it without the math? The guide it. <laughs> you are not much these of two time. flying. He's gonna have three flyers. I don't think there's a way to survive here. One, two, three. Yeah, I don't think there's anything we can do. A fight? And you think you can move? Other than just die now. Yeah, because he'll just have, you know, it's like what, 18 in there? 19 in there? Maybe he like accidentally attacks my planeswalkers. I guess that's our only hope. Good game. Whew. All right, well, that was a tough game.